continuing on with this section uh, on example six, six here uh, it says if you select two cards without replacement uh, the first one here says what's the probability of king and king now this is without replacement so on this one the probability that the first one is king is four out of fifty two and the probability that the next one is a king is only three out of fifty one and the reason that is three out of fifty one is because it's without replacement you can't get two kings unless the first one is a king and if the first one is a king and that's been drawn out without replacement then you only have three kings left you also only have 51 cards left because a king was selected and you know it's a king because we're looking for the probability of king and king the only way you can get a king uh, two kings is if there's a king on the first card that probably is four out of 52 the probability that there's a king on the second card now is three out of 51 now we can use the formula that we talked about in the last video to do this problem but I think it's actually easier to do it with just thinking it through you know you drop down one um, now the way we would use this formula right here the probability of a and b equals the probability of a times the probability of b given a on this problem is we'd say the probability of king on the first card and king on the second card is equal to the probability of king on the first card times the probability of king on the second card given that you got a king on the first well the probability that you get a king on the first card is 4 out of 52 and the probability that you got a king on the second card given that you had a king out on the first card is 3 out of 51 because the probability that, it, that that king on the first card reduces the number of kings down to 3 and reduces the number of cards down to 51 so you can see that this formula actually works but you can do it without using the formula just by thinking well there's one less king and there's one less card okay on example 7 it says what is the probability of ace on the first card and king on the second card well again this is without replacement if it was with replacement it'd be 4 out of 52 times 4 out of 52 but since it's uh, without replacement we have to think well it's the probability of ace on the first card and there's four aces so that's 4 out of 52 times the probability of king on the second card given that you got an ace on the first card well if you got an ace on the first card there's still what four kings left but you are down to 51 cards because you already drew an ace out so it'd be 4 out of 52 times 4 out of 51 if you multiply these together you get 0 0.006 now this problem is very similar it says what is the probability of king on the first card and ace on the second card very very similar just a different order so probably of king and ace is equal to the probability of king times the probability of ace given king this is that formula we have written right up up here so the probability of king on the first card is 4 out of 52 and the probability of ace on the second card given that you have a king is 4 out of 51 because you still have four aces because the first one had to be a king but you're down to 51 cards because you already selected the king out and when you multiply these together you get 0 0.006 now you can see that these two have the same answer but they're different one is ace then a king and this one is king and ace now on problem nine it says if you select two cards without replacement what is the probability that one of them is an ace and one is a king well that could have happened this first way which uh, with which has a probability of 0 0.006 or it could happen this second way king and ace which the answer was 0 0.006 and the or tells us to add these two probabilities together since it could happen this way or this way we need to take the 0 0.006 plus another 0 0.006 and we end up with 0 0.012 so you have to watch out throughout this area uh, here on, on this this section 1-3 and also on section 1-4 is order stated for example if it says that the first card has to be an ace and the second one is a king this is your answer but if it says one is an ace and one is a king there was no order specified so you have to uh, think of both ways and actually both of them have the same probability so just get one of them and multiply it by two and uh, that will do it with that video so we'll stop right there